now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end. Zach. Saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well. We this is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. Mark this play, clip this play for the route running reel. Will the team get better? How do we find a way to win the game? Well, he's hoping to lead his team to a successful drive. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Looking downfield for Godwin. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. From the 35 on second down, Mahomes and Sands lost it. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get a stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Throw right side taken in by Godwin. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that's going to be lead to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. They'll look to throw here. And this is taken in at the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talks. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. Offensively, pretty effective option play there for the score. Sir. Taking the hit, but incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it. Additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. They'll look to throw again. Open man completes it to Claypool. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Bots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. CD, he tried to kind of lob that one in there. It looked pretty going through the air. The problem was it, it was in the air a little bit too long. Yeah, that's a tough one because he had to put a little air under it, and the defender was actually able to take advantage of it because it hung up there just long enough for him to get there and take it away. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 
If ball security terms have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he'll find McLeod on the right side complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. High throw, but the catch is made. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get one of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Looking to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he will have a Steelers first down. I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Second and four. This is caught. Touchdown. Chase Claypool. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Boswell for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. Down by 10, a minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Pass complete to Edwards Alaire. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Second down at six now from the 42. Mahomes. Connecting with Hill. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Mahomes to throw it. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Let's go, Big right here. We got Mahomes. He'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. Mahomes will throw. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Here's Mahomes. Uses the stiff arm. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Mahomes. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. So the clock sits at 16 seconds as they line up for the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. 
And that should just about put a camper on this. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this coaching staff, CD, I think you'd agree, pleased with this overall effort. Oh, I think they're more than pleased, right? They've got to look at each other like, wow, we just pulled this one off in a big way. Great job of motivating, even better job of game planning. They were facing a top 10 defense, so they had to make sure that everything was buttoned down and they had it ready to go, and their guys executed. Yeah, they were concerned not only about moving the ball through the air, but also on the ground. But both really started to come in sync. So for Pittsburgh, they get back in the win column as they move to two and one now on the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the Cincinnati Bengals.